To complete coverage now, after years in limbo, studies, backlash on proposed sites, the multi purpose center's fate will now head back to voters. Good morning, El Paso's Isabella Martinez joins us live to give us a recap on how City Council came to that decision. Good morning, Isabella. Good morning, Rosemary. After a long after a long discussion, City Council decided it's time to put the project back in the hands of voters. Now, this all happened at a public hearing yesterday during City Council's meeting with a five to three vote with Mayor Oscar Leeser voting with the majority. During the discussion, Representative Hernandez spoke out saying this decision is being done with a quote, lame duck council, noting there will be six vacancies on the current council in November. She says council is losing credibility with this decision and says they are, quote, making decisions that are more personal and politically motivated as opposed to wanting to improve the city, end quote. Meanwhile, representatives and Mayor Oscar Leeser agreed it was time to take it to the voters. Back in 2012, the voters were asked to approve an item for $180 million. It couldn't be built back then. The voters were misled. And it's very important that today we start talking about it and say, you know what, we're going to tell you what it would cost, what it would cost, and now... The voters shall have an opportunity to say, yes, we still want it or we don't want it. Now, council also approved a communication strategy that will help educate voters prior to the November election. And coming up in the newscast, I'll have more on why some representatives are emphasizing the importance of this. For now, I'm reporting live from El Paso, Isabel Martinez, ABC7.